Hello, folks. Welcome into the Frugal Fixer Shop. Tonight, I want to explain something to you. I had somebody send me a message today and asked me, how hard is it to hook up GS Pro to the R10, and how long does it take to get it running once you get it hooked up, you know, every time you want to play? In other words, I said, well, you know, to hook it up, it takes you 15 minutes maybe to do all the little steps and get it done. I said, but then to hook it up and play, it's probably about a minute. And so I'm going to give you an idea of what it takes to do this, and we're just going to do the whole process. So what you do, you open your Garmin up, you turn your Garmin on just like normal. And I got my bulletproof system here. I got my mount right there. I settle it into the mount where it sits in the seat. It's done. Then I go to the Garmin app, just like everybody else. Garmin devices, it says connected. I'm going to hit here, and I'm going to say device to calibrate. I'm going to calibrate it right quick. As soon as he gets done with that, we're going to be done. We're going to back up a couple of steps. And we're going to wait right here on this screen until we get the computer ready. So let's go to the computer now. Okay, now, I'm going to sit down at my computer here, and I'm going to get started and show you exactly what it takes to get this fired up, okay? I'm going to leave it a couple of steps. Let's go with it. Okay, we're going to go to this program called GS Pro Launcher. We're going to click at it, and that's going to come up. And when it does, it's going to come up and give us some things here. And it's going to pop up. And it's going to give us our options. And here you can pick out what you want to run. I use mine cranked up on the option, the ultra here. And I've got it on display too, which is over here on this other display. So when I hit this button here, it says play. It's going to my main screen and my secondary screen here so I can watch everything. So that's done. Okay, now we'll let that come up a second. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this little button. Now this one here is called GS Pro Connect. Now this connects the GS Pro. You see that green light pop on on the screen? That's when the GS Pro opened up and it was ready to go. So that's what we had happen right there. Okay, so now we're going to come back to the phone. And we're going to go right here and it says Golf Sim. Hit that. Ready? Roll up here and hit True E6 Connect. So True Golf E6 Connect. Hit that and hit Play on PC. You see the green light right here, folks? Watch this. Let me check you over and show you right there. And you can see here, we've got a green light on both of them, the R Connection and the GS Pro. So this thing is ready to play at this point. Then all you do is go to your game and open up what you're going to play with. So let me bring you into the software now and take you into the game. What we're going to do, we're just going to go over to the screen and we're going to pick out what we want to do. And uh, I think I'm just going to hit practice. And let's just go to the driving range. And it'll initialize the driving range, as y'all can see coming up there. And it takes it a few minutes because there's a lot of graphics in there. So once they get up, the phone's here. We don't need it anymore. Just set it aside. Let it do its thing all by itself. Uh, when this thing pops up on the course, we'll be ready to go. And uh, we should be ready. It's loading now. It's already initialized. Now it's going to load. You see that driving range is 416 yards. I am going to play that way when I'm warmed up. So we're going to take this and bring it down, and we're going to bring it down to about 100 and, I don't know, let's say 130 yards. Let's move this out of the way. And so we got that all set up and ready to go. I mean, so that's how quick that was. Just grab a club. That may work. Let's try it. That's on a club all day. And it shows. But anyway, I one look a little better than that, okay? I got it stood up. It didn't take but just a minute. It's ready to go. Let's hit a ball, see how it works. Yep, it might work. Okay, that's why you set it up. Maybe a minute to turn it on every time you come out to play. I'm not going to keep it that. One morning, the sands of time slip up. There's a faster sands of time. Let's see if it works. While your imagination tells you that one day you are dreaming, will be realized. Okay there, folks. Now that's the way you get your Garmin hooked up in the GS Pro so you can play, and it don't take but a minute or so to get it going. The first time, maybe 10 minutes, 15. 
get all the little tuning done. But it's a simple process. Hit the button and go. And man, there's over 300 courses there. I ain't even started to scratch the surface, and I'm playing five or six a day, wearing myself out. I just can't stop. They're so fun. But hey, y'all be good. The graphics are crazy. Uh, yeah, you can change the weather. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So hey, y'all be good and take care of yourselves. Remember this: God loves you, and so do I. You can't take it with you. So. Do something for yourself or for your family or just have some fun and enjoy your life. See y'all on the next one, okay? Spot's gonna be out of here.